Welcome back, people. It is time for episode two of the student loan payoff series. Uh, just a recap of the last time. What did I do? I paid off... Uh, from the start of the payoff was $77,836.24. $13,862.82 was all interest. What did we get to? We got to May the 23rd, where I made a payment of $250, which got us down to the even $10,000 mark. And it was from there that I was like, all right, let's see if the Supreme Court does the student loan forgiveness thing. And guess what? Mm, nah. They didn't, because why would they? So um, I essentially wasted about two months not making any payments because it wasn't until roughly the end of June when they said, we're not going to do it. So pretty much that left the entire month of July and August for me to pay down as much as possible before the interest started accruing again. So what have we here? On July the 17th, I made a payment of $1,000, bringing the balance down to an even $9,000. July 27th, I made another $1,000 payment. July 31st, a $500 payment. Bring us down to $7,500. August 10th, another $500 payment. Puts us at an even $7,000. August 18, another $1,000 payment, bringing us down to $6,000. August 30, a $750 payment, bringing us down to $5,250. And on August 31st, the last day of no interest, $250 payment, bringing us down to an even $5,000. And that's pretty much what I was able to do in two months five grand so this is when it starts getting stupid because they go ahead and bust out the interest so for five thousand dollars at six point five percent is what my interest rate is that was 89 cents and as the title of the video suggests the interest accrues every single day so september 2nd september 2nd is when i logged 89 cents september 3rd five thousand one dollar and 78 cents on the fourth five thousand two sixty seven so it's about 89 cents adding every day September 4th, I wanted to make a $500 payment, so I made I made the payment of $502.67. So, after it did its thing and took that money, we went to $4,580. On the 6th, another $0.80, cents, so $45,160. Yeah, on the 7th, I made a payment of 502.40. Then on the 9th, it was $4,001.42. The next day on the 10th, 214. And then 285. And then 356. 427. 498. 569. 641. 712. 783 on the 19th I made a $200 payment but it was actually for $208.54 so then the next day it went down 
for thirty-eight hundred and sixty-eight cents, and then thirty-eight oh one thirty-five. But on that twenty-first, I make a payment of fifty-one thirty-five. So then we're down to thirty-seven fifty sixty-seven, one thirty-three, thirty-seven fifty-two even. I think that was the first time we get an even one. Thirty-seven fifty-two sixty-seven. 37, 53, 30, full, 37, 54, even, 37, 54, 67. And here on the 28th, I make a payment of 254.67, bringing us down to 3,562 cents to 3,501, 25 cents, and 187, 249. Here on October 2nd, I make a payment of $527.49. And that is because even though I could have just done a $502.49, I wanted to drop below the $3,000. I didn't even want to see it be $3,000 with zeros. So, the third, we drop down to $29.75. 53 and from here I don't make another payment for two weeks so 606 659 712 765 818 871 924 976 2980 29 82 135 188, 241, 535, 570, 1976, 05, 641, 676, 711, 746, 781, 816, 851, 887, 922, 957, 9.92, on Halloween. Yes, on Halloween, I made a payment of five hundred and eighty dollars and twenty-seven cents, bringing us down into November to fourteen hundred dollars and twenty-five cents, and then the next day, fifty cents, and then seventy-five, and then I'm like, oh great, it's gonna be. 1401 even and it was and then 25 cents again and then 50 cents again so here on September 6th I made a payment of $201.50 bring us down to $1200 but with 21 cents added and then I don't make another payment for a few weeks because it's November and that means that the holidays are coming up. And I'm like, well, even though I'm making some slow progress on this stuff, I need to, uh, you know, pay bills, obviously, around all this stuff. But, you know, I want to buy Christmas presents for family and such. And since, you know, it's not like a whole bunch of dollars stacking up every day. But I still keep taking my screenshots. 43, 64, 86, 107, 128, 149, 171, 192, 214, 235, 256, 278, 299. And there it is. On November 20, I make a payment of 400. Two dollars and ninety-nine cents, bringing us below the one thousand dollar threshold to eight hundred bucks and fourteen cents. And then uh, next day, we're twenty-eight, and then forty-three, fifty-seven, seventy-one, eighty-five, and then one dollar, eight hundred and one dollars, another fourteen cents, another fourteen cents. And then we're 142. And then 157. 171. 185. 
Two dollars. And then two fourteen. Another fourteen cents. Another fourteen cents. Two fifty seven. Two seventy one. Two eighty five. Two ninety nine. Three fourteen. Three twenty eight. Three forty two. Three fifty six. Three seven one. Three eight five. Three nine nine. Four thirteen. Four two seven. Four four two. Four five six. Four seventy. Four eighty four. Four ninety eight on Christmas Day. Five thirteen. Five twenty seven. Five forty one. Five fifty six. Five seventy. Five eighty four. Five ninety eight on New Year's Day. Six twelve. Six two six. Six forty one. Six fifty five. Six six nine. Six eighty three. Six ninety eight. Seven twelve. Seven twenty six. Seven forty. Seven fifty five. Seven six nine. Seven eighty three. Seven ninety seven. Eight twelve. Eight twenty six. And then I made a payment on January seventeen of one hundred fifty eight dollars twenty six cents, which put us down to six fifty twelve. And then six fifty twenty three, six fifty thirty five, forty six, fifty eight, sixty nine, eighty one, ninety three, six fifty one zero four, six fifty one sixteen, six fifty one twenty seven. And that is where we are as of today, because today or tonight is January twenty eighth. So sixteen, twenty seven. What is 27 minus 16? 11? Maybe tomorrow it'll be uh, 651.36. You'll just have to tune into the next episode, which this is going to be just a three-part series, meaning the next episode will be when this whole thing is paid off. And the main point of topic for that one will be why an income-based repayment plan is a terrible idea. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Um, if you want to see the first episode, I'm going to link that down below and on the end card. Please do the thing, you know, the YouTube thing, the, you know, the like and the subscribe and all that stuff, you know, because, because that's cool. And you want to be cool, right? Because being cool is, is cool. But that is pretty much what happens, or that is what is happening to all of your student loans now. That interest is accruing every single day. And I kind of wanted to highlight this in a sense that when my balance was $5,000 at about that time, accruing about 89 cents a day. And then when you make a $500 payment, 80 cents. So... I can imagine what it's like for anybody who say you have $25,000 or $50,000. What kind of interest is accruing every day on that? 20 bucks, 60 bucks, more? That sucks. So get after it, pay your damn loans. The reason why I went forth and did this cause I don't have faith that the uh, administration or any administration is going to forgive loans for regular people that you know quote unquote don't need it they did forgive loans for people with disabilities or public service type of jobs those people were supposed to get those loans forgiven anyway so they finally got around to doing it so i'm happy for those people that they got their loans taken care of does it suck that they told us that they were going to do it and then they didn't of course it does and can we think that they might forgive it in the future? Maybe. But for me personally, I just don't want the stupid loan anymore. So very soon, it'll be done. So now you know that is what happens to your student loan every day. It's accruing. So if your balance is bigger, it accrues more. So pay your stupid loan. And uh, until next time... Peace.